Spring is coming and you might want to take your family out for a hike on trails and parks in our area, but that can be a little intimidating, especially during the pandemic. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli live in Spartanburg this morning, getting us ready to get outdoors. Good morning, Christine. I think so. Yeah, in all aspects, right? Yeah, it's a topic I really had so much trouble finding someone to talk to me about. I was like, people go potty all the time. <laughs> well, sometimes it happens when you're in the woods, right? In any case, hiking and being out in the woods, outdoors, those trails is so popular, especially with COVID-19. Kathy Silverman is certainly not afraid to tackle this topic, and I'm <laughs> so thrilled. Thank you so much. The local hiker, downtown Spartanburg, you have all the resources. This is so very cool. We're talking first about maybe a day pack you need to bring with you and right. a couple of things to check before you go starting with maybe where exactly you're going right right so you want to make sure you've planned ahead and know where you're going to go check the website make sure the parking is open the trails are open are the restrooms open you want to know all of those things before you get out there so that it will help you prepare what you need to take with you that and you throw in your backpack if they're not open that's not a oh i can't go right, right? what are our options so you can take toilet paper you can take hand sanitizer you can take wipes just be sure that whatever you take into the woods you pack back out so that can be in any sort of trash bag from a dry sack like the green one there or you can take a regular ziploc bag it doesn't have to be anything fancy just be sure that you're packing out your trash. You're saying that I can't just bury my toilet paper? No, you should not bury your toilet paper. You want to take <laughs> it back out. The animals will dig it up and then it ends up all over the trail and that's not good for a multitude of reasons. You're awesome. Speaking of things like um, beverages or sunscreens or bug sprays, there are mm -hmm. some that are better for the environment, some things that shouldn't go and be dumped out, right? Right. So yeah, if you've got some hazardous sunscreen on that or things that would be hazardous to the water, you want to make sure you're not wading in the creeks and streams with that on. So try to find one that would be um, friendly to our water sources while you're out on the trail because keep in mind a lot of people may be filtering that water to drink while they're out there. Um, if you're just going on a day hike you're probably going to just have enough water with you but some people may be backpacking in that same area and be filtering the water. Kathy, this is brilliant. If you are looking at this this morning and by chance looking at this lovely feces shovel that you might want more of, <laughs> Kathy's got it right here, downtown Spartanburg, the local hiker. I cannot <laughs> thank her enough because I think about the potty all the time, guys. Mm -hmm. I gotta go the older you get. I'm telling you, it gets bad out there, but it does not mean you cannot hike and be in the outdoors. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah. Tough topic, guys. Back to you. <laughs> That's a product I never knew existed. Thank you, Christine. Sevilla. You know, that's the great thing. We learned so much on this newscast. All right, uh, coming up, got the guac. Chipotle and Elf Cosmetics is rolling out a new 